anxiety, lack of sleep, and pain are all health issues that claim to be fixed by aromatherapy. But is this true? And what scientific research has been done to back up these claims? In this video, we will unpack the real question. Aromatherapy, how essential are essential oils? Let's start with defining, what is aromatherapy? According to the National Institute of Health, aromatherapy is a type of complementary and alternative medicine that uses plant oils that give off strong, pleasant aromas to promote relaxation, a sense of well-being, and healing. And what are essential oils? Essential oils are defined as a scented liquid taken from certain plants using steam or pressure. Essential oils contain the natural chemicals that give the plant its essence. They are used in perfumes, food flavorings, medicine, and aromatherapy. Now let's take you back to where it all began and discuss the history of essential oils. Essential oils date back to ancient Egypt in 4500 BC where Egyptians used aromatic substances for makeups and lotions. Approaching 2500 BC, essential oils became important in Chinese and Indian medicine. Healing properties of cinnamon, ginger, and sandalwood were amongst the many ingredients used in essential oils. Fast forward to the 18th and 19th century, aromatherapy evolved to include thyme, saffron, cumin, and peppermint. And in the 21st century today, plants such as lavender and peppermint are prevalent among pharmaceuticals and could possibly be used as an additional substitute for medications, a more natural alternative to modern medicine. How neat! However, more research needs to be conducted to prove the efficacy of these oils compared to synthetic medications. There are many different types of essential oils. Let's dive into a few of them and talk about their effects. Lavender. This essential oil has the ability to fight off infections caused by bacterial and fungal species. It is also used to serve as a remedy for stress, headaches, body aches, and burns. Lavender also has the ability to increase our immunity, which is our immune system's response to foreign toxins. In addition, a study published in the Journal of the European College of Neuropsychopharmacology shows the short-term efficacy of lavender oil in the treatment of anxiety disorders as well as demonstrate better sleep quality. Moving on to the scent of Christmas, who doesn't love the spicy, fresh smell of peppermint? But the smell isn't its only valuable quality. Countless studies have been conducted demonstrating the microbial, infection, inflammation, and fungi-fighting characteristics of peppermint not to mention its aid in digestion. Oregano is our next essential oil. This topping on pizza has also many other beneficial qualities to our well-being. Oregano is an antioxidant that fights against free radicals, and free radicals are substances that damages our cells and produces diseases. Our next essential oil is sage. Some studies suggest that sage could provide natural treatment for depression, dementia, obesity, and many other life-threatening diseases. A study published in the Journal of Food and Chemical Toxicology showed that sage exhibited induction of cell death in human melanoma cells. This supports the idea that sage could potentially aid in reducing further development of skin cancer. Our next essential oil is lemon. This citrusy fruit is known to increase our immune response by upregulating the production of white blood cells. Lemon is also known to be used for clearing up skin concerns such as acne due to its detoxifying properties. Well, how do you use essential oils? There's two main methods of application, inhalation and massaging. The most common route of entrance is inhalation through the airways where the essential oils are diffused in the air in the form of vapor. The sensory molecules enter the nasal cavity and stimulate the olfactory nerves targeting the cerebral cortex and limbic system of the brain which controls emotions, producing its desired effects. 
application through skin occurs in the form of essential oil baths and or massage, and if the duration of application is long enough, the oil substances will eventually reach the bloodstream and have its desired effects. From a medical and scientific perspective, there are still some side effects of essential oils you should be aware of. When oils are applied directly to the skin, side effects may include allergic reactions, skin irritation, and sun sensitivity. Essential oils are very potent, and so a few drops in your application is all you really need. If essential oils are consumed, this can be fatal to the skin, liver, kidneys, and other organs. Additional research also needs to be conducted to determine the effect of essential oils on children and women who are pregnant or breastfeeding. Well, does aromatherapy really work? A collection of scientific sources and studies have shown that aromatherapy does have health benefits. But currently, there is no evidence-backed research that can isolate essential oils to cure any illnesses. And one reason for this is the placebo effect. Just the knowledge of what the essential oil does and expecting to feel better might actually make you feel better. Another reason for this is because the act of massaging oils into the skin can be relaxing and the fragrance can be pleasant. A combination of these factors may be the reason for patient satisfaction and not the chemical properties of the essential oil itself. If you are thinking of purchasing essential oils, here are some tips. First, if you have life-threatening health conditions, please consult a doctor or aromatherapist to see if it, this is the right fit for you. If it is safe to use, look for purity. Find an oil that contains only the plant compound without additives. Third is quality. Find a chemical-free essential oil that has been extracted through distillation or mechanical cold pressing. And fourth is reputation. Purchase a brand with a reputation for producing high-quality products. So should you use essential oils? It's ultimately your choice. We don't have enough information to prove that there is a causal relationship between the oils and their effects, but hopefully this video has helped you determine if essential oils are essential for you. Thanks for watching!